Hi students, shall we recall the types of sets? Empty set. Empty set means a set consisting of no element. Therefore, inside the set, empty. Therefore, this is the empty set. What is the meaning for singleton set? Inside the set, you have only one number. Number or variable. Inside the set, only one element. What is the meaning for finite set? You can count the elements. Yes. How many elements here? Three elements. That is finite. Next, infinite set. What is the meaning for infinite set? The numbers you can't count. Oh, this is the infinite set. What is the meaning for cardinal number of a set? You have to take the finite set and you have to count the elements. One, two, three. Therefore, how many elements are there? Three elements. That is cardinal set. If you take the finite set as A, that is one, two, three, then cardinal number of a set n of a is equal to 3. Next, equivalent set. What is the meaning for equivalent sets? You have to take two sets. That is 1, 2. Then next set that is a, b. Check the number of elements in a is equal to 2. And the number of elements in b also 2. Therefore, a and b are equivalent sets. What is the meaning for equal set? You have to take two sets. The elements also same. Capital X is equal to XY. Capital Y is also small xy. See, N of A is N of X is equal to 2. N of Y is equal to 2. The elements also exactly same. Therefore, the set capital X is equal to capital Y. Next, universal set. When you are ready to learn about Earth, or Mars, or Jupiter, etc. The universal set is plants of solar system. The universal set is plants of solar system. Now, next type, subset. Let capital A and capital B be two sets. If every element of A is also an element of B, then A is called the subset of B. We write A is the subset of B. You must write like this. Now see one example. Take A is equal to 2, 3. And B is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5. Five. Check the set B. You have 2, 3, 4, 5. 2 and 3 are present in capital A. 2 and 3 are present in capital A. Therefore, A is a subset of B. One more example for you. Set 1 is a subset of 1, 2, 3. See here. 1, 2, 3 is the biggest set. In this, you have only 1 in the set. Therefore, 1 is the subset of 1, 2, 3, etc. Once again, 1 is the subset of set 1, 2, 3. From this, we are taking 1 only for the set Already you know about natural numbers and whole numbers. From this you can take one more example. N is a subset of whole numbers. Because whole number is the biggest one. Natural number is the smallest one. Therefore natural number is the subset of whole numbers. Here you have one example. If the statement is true, you have to write this is the subset of this. If it is not true, you have to write not a subset of this. That is, first question, 
टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी फोर्टी चेक द एलमेंट्स टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी द एलमेंट्स विच आर प्रसेंट हियर आलसो प्रसेंट हियर दफोर every element since every element of 10 20 30 is also an element of 10 20 30 40 therefore the set 10 20 30 is the subset of 10 20 30 40 see the second question p q r here w x y is it can you guess the answer yes p is not present immediately you can say this is not the subset of this therefore since every element of p q r is not an element of w x y is it therefore p q r is not a subset of w x y is it one more thing you know about the subset if you have a set a is equal to small x and y what are the subsets for this set x and y okay that is what are the subset means first empty is also a subset next only x is also a subset only y is also a subset then x comma y is also a subset therefore what are the subsets for a means the subsets of a are first empty then only x then only y then both the elements these are all the subsets of capital a if you have two elements in a you have one formula 2 power 2 is the answer for two elements that is x and y means 2 power 2 that is 4 1 2 3 4 if you have a uh, elements inside the set 3 means you have a formula 2 power 3 that is 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 therefore how many subsets are there eight subsets are there. that also you must know in subset write all the subsets of capital a is equal to a comma b first you write the set capital a is equal to small a small b subsets of a are already I explained you that is first you write the subset is empty for all the set one of the set is empty therefore empty then take the first element a that is in, right inside the set then inside the set write b next set a comma b therefore what are the subsets of a empty a b and ab write all the elements inside the set except for empty proper subset let capital a and capital b be two sets if capital a is a subset of b and a not equal to b then a is called a proper subset of b and we write a is a subset of b take a set a is equal to 1 3 7 
and take another one set capital B is equal to 1, 3, 7, 8. Now you have to check the set A is a proper subset or not. See, all the elements of A that is 1, 3, 7 is present here. But all the elements are not present. That is the meaning A not equal to B. See here A have only 3 elements. B have 4 elements. That is the meaning for A not equal to B. Therefore A is a subset of B. Once again listen carefully. In a set A you have 1, 3, 7. In a set B you have 1, 3, 7, 8. The elements in B are present here. But not equal. Here 8. Here not present. Here 8 present. Here 8 present. Here absent. Therefore A is a proper subset of B. What is the difference between subset and proper subset? For the subset. This is also. For the subset, both the sets are same, all the elements are same. You can say this is a subset. For the subset, you must draw one more line. For proper subset, the elements in A and B are not equal. But the elements which are present in A must in B. Disjoint sets. Two sets A and B are said to be disjoint if they do not have common elements. If they do not have common elements. For example, if the set A have 1, 2, 3 and B, A, B, C, D. See the set A, there is three elements. But the elements which are present here is not present present here. The elements which are present in B is not present in A. Therefore, the intersection of these two are empty. What is the meaning for intersection? You have to choose the element which are present in both the set. Therefore, here A intersection B is empty. There is no common elements. Therefore, this is these two sets. A and B are said to be disjoint sets. Verify whether A is equal to 20, 22, 23, 24 and B is equal to 25, 30, 40, 45 or disjoint sets. Write the given set first. Capital A is equal to 20, 22, 23, 24. Capital B is equal to 25, 30, 40, 45. First what you have to find for disjoint sets? You have to find the intersection of A and B. To find the intersection, first write the set A, 20, 22, 23, 24. Intersection, 25, 30, 40, 45. Check the element. 20 is present here? No. 22? No. 23? No. 24? No. Therefore, empty. Here, A intersection B is empty. Therefore, A and B are disjoint sets. Power set. The set of all subsets of a set A is called the power set of A. It is denoted by capital P of capital A. For example, let us take a set capital X is equal to small a and b. Okay. For this, let us find the power set of A. For this set, you are ready to find the power set of A. 
already you know to find the subsets of first set A. Here, what is the meaning for power set of A? Just you have to write inside the set all the subsets of A. The set of all subsets of a set A is called. Therefore, first you find the subset of capital X. First write all the subsets of X. Subsets of X are first empty, next A, next B, next A and B. For power set, it is denoted by capital P of A. Here the set is given as capital X. Therefore, capital P of capital X is equal to inside the set you write all the subsets. Find the number of subsets and the number of proper subsets of a set. Find the number of subsets and number of proper subsets. Okay. For this you have two formula. First you have to write all the subsets. And you can find the number. But here inside the set you have six elements. Already I explained in the subsets itself to find the number of subsets you have a formula number of subsets is equal to 2 power number of elements in this set that is denoted as small n okay take this as a note that is if n of a that is number of elements in the set a is equal to small m then n of capital P of A that is number of subsets. Number of subsets that is n of P of A is equal to 2 power M. If the number of elements is M then n of P of A is equal to 2 power M. That is here number of the elements is 6 therefore 2 power 6. To find the proper subsets, okay, to find the proper subsets, that is the number of proper subsets of a set A is, that is N of P of A minus 1, that is 2 power M minus 1. is n of p of a minus 1 that is equal to 2 power m minus 1. Here on example find the number of subsets and the number of proper subsets of a set capital X is equal to a, b, c, x, y, z. Write the given set capital X is equal to A, B, C, X, Y, Z. Then find the number of sets. The number of subsets is equal to capital P of X. For this set you must find the number. First write the given set capital X is equal to A, B, C, X, Y, Z. Then find the number of elements in this set that is N of X is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore here N of capital X is equal to 6. Now find the number of subsets. The number of subsets is equal to N of capital P of X. What is the formula for N of P of X? 2 power 2 power M. Yes. What is M? That is 6. Okay. Therefore 2 power 6. 
how you can find the value of 2 power 6 2 power 6 means you have to multiply 2 6 times ok 6 times 2 to 4 4 to 8 8 to 16 16 to 32 32 to 64 now find the number of proper subsets the number of proper subsets is equal to n of p of x minus 1 2 power m minus 1 that is 2 power 6 minus 1 already you know the value for 2 power 6 already you know the value for 2 power 6 that is 2 power 6 is 64 2 power 6 is 64 64 minus 1 63 Write the answer once again. Therefore, number of subsets is equal to 66. Number of proper subsets is equal to 63. X is 1.2. Find the cardinal number of the following sets. First question. Capital M is equal to P, Q, R, S, T, U. To find the cardinal set, what do you have to do? Count the elements and write the elements. That's all. Write the set. N of capital M is equal to. Write cardinal. Cardinal number of a set M. Comma, N of M is equal to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, N of M is equal to 6. See the next question. Capital P is equal to X such that X is equal to 3N plus 2. N belongs to W whole numbers and X less than 15. The value of X must be less than 15. The value for N is belongs to whole number. Therefore, N is 0, 1, 2, etc. Solution. First write the set once again. Capital P is equal to X such that X is equal to 3N plus 2. N belongs to capital W and X less than 15. Your formula is X is equal to 3N plus 2. N belongs to whole numbers. Therefore, N is equal to 0, 1, 2, etc. First is substitute. N is equal to 0. Therefore, X is equal to in the place of N substitute 0. Therefore, 3 into n, 3 into 0 plus 2. First multiply and then add. 3 into 0 is 0, 0 plus 2, that is value is 2. Therefore, n is equal to 0, x is equal to 2. Then n is equal to 1, x is equal to 3 into n in the place of n, substitute 1 plus 2. First multiply, then add. Therefore, 3 into 1 is 3 plus 2, that is 5. Then n is equal to 2. x is equal to 3 into 2 plus 2. 3 twos are 6. 6 plus 2 that is 8. Then next n is equal to 3. x is equal to 3 into 3 plus 2. That is 9 plus 2 that is 11. n is equal to 4. x is equal to 3 into 4 plus 2. 3 fours are 12. 12 plus 2, 14. N is equal to 5. X is equal to 3 into 5 plus 2. That is equal to 15 plus 2. That is 17. Check here. X value is less than 15. This is greater than 15. Therefore, you leave this. Therefore, your answer for capital P is 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. How many elements? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore, cardinal number of capital P. Therefore, cardinal number of 
capital P is that is n of capital P is equal to how many elements 1 2 3 4 5 therefore the answer is 5 students try to do this problems